Welcome to Visions of Victory, our weekly broadcast of Bethlehem Baptist Church in Springhouse, Pennsylvania. Thank you for joining us where we remember the words of the Psalmist David. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. So sit back and relax because the next voice you'll hear is that of our pastor, Charles W. Kwan. Love you, Lord, with all my heart, with all my soul. You're the one I adore. I love you, Lord, with all my heart, with all my soul. You're the one I adore. I love you, Lord, with all my heart, with all my soul. Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 that reads in this manner give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you this morning I want to share with you from the subject something out of nothing something out of nothing on this Mother's Day I would ask that you would take a moment and reflect upon the sacrifices that your mother made on your behalf Maybe your mother's gone home to glory. Whatever the situation, take a moment and give God thanks for the sacrifices made on your behalf. Many who have gone home to glory have impacted our lives in so many ways. Many of our mothers did not have a formal education, but wanted very much for us to go to college and make something out of our lives. Many of them did day's work. And sometimes we forget. I went to Tribune's luncheon to honor women on Tuesday. The woman who spoke said something that I 
shall remember for the rest of my life. She said, never let your success take you where your character cannot hold you. Some of us have been successful, but our character has been developed by our mothers. They imparted to us wisdom, knowledge, yes. faith. Yes, I have been reading this wonderful devotion entitled The President's Devotional. This sermon topic comes right out of the book. There's a story I believe that we can relate to if we're honest, if you take a moment reflect upon the sacrifices that your mother made. This is what the author has to say. Listen carefully and see whether or not you can relate to it in any way. My parents had a way of making something out of nothing. When I was five, my mother was raising me by herself didn't have much money. She hoped to take me to Chuck E. Cheese to celebrate my birthday. But when the day rolled around, there was nothing in the bank. My mom told me we couldn't have the party. And I was disappointed to the point of tears and so her eyes water up as well. But then she drove me to a self-service car wash. She asked me to get out of the car, handed me a hose, and proceeded to spray me. Astonished, I laughed and sprayed her back. When an hour spraying each other, laughing and playing until she ran out of quarters. We were thoroughly soaked and every single tear was washed away. It was the best birthday I ever had. When my stepfather, father really, and Tone Skinfield married my mom they both worked jobs that paid minimum wage. We had to stretch to pay the bills. But I never felt poor. One day he took us to the local department store. The way he described this vacuum cleaner, its bells and whistles, features and colors, made it sound like we had bought a brand new car. I left the store with my chest poked out and a new sense of pride. My dad could really take care of us. Sometimes we grow in wealth and statue and lose our sense of perspective. But a central quality of leadership in our families, our workplace and our communities is the ability to inspire gratitude with what we have right now without seeking more. Let's make much of what we have today and find satisfaction in the task. Does anyone remember when your mother did something special for you? Anyone remember when they were disappointed and yet that was perhaps the best blessing you would ever received? The author uses this portion of scripture that talks about giving thanks in everything. The good and the bad. The tears of sorrow and the tears of joy. Give thanks for everything. For this is the will of God. As I thought about the scripture lesson that he used to focus on the importance of appreciating who we are and what we are and how good God has been to us 
as a result of some sacrifice made by a mother, I was led to look at this portion of scripture in which Paul says, give thanks for everything. Paul, the humble servant Lord, was serious about his exhortation. He was not merely speaking theory. He's speaking from his own personal experience. He was a man who had true convictions. Paul says, give thanks in all circumstances. In other words, in everything, give God thanks. In everything, the joys, the sorrows, the disappointments, the heartaches, the pain. Paul sets a high standard for living and for gratitude. I believe with all my heart that one of the sins that we commit, and that is a sin of ingratitude, that we can become so selfish, so self-centered, we forget about the sacrifices made on our behalf. With all the things that change in the world, I pray that we will never lose Mother's Day. At least it provides at least a day to honor God and honor those who made sacrifices on our behalf. Yes, sir. Anybody here able to appreciate the sacrifices that were made on your behalf? Oh, yeah. Anybody here? Anybody here appreciative of how God has blessed you in your home with a parent, with someone who helped you when you couldn't help yourself? Somebody who made sacrifices on your behalf. Give God the glory. I don't understand. I just don't understand how children cannot speak to their parents. I, I, I don't understand that. I, I, I have a hard time understanding how any child could be so selfish and self-centered. And most of us grew up in the hood. Most of us can relate to this. I don't even know what it meant to be poor. Am I talking to myself? I didn't even know I was poor. Paul has given us a blueprint on how we ought to live to give God thanks for everything. Notice also the order in which Paul writes, rejoice always, pray without ceasing. Before you pray, rejoice. In other words, give God thanks. When you pray, don't spend all your time talking to God about what you need or how bad things are. Tell him that you're grateful for what you have. Give God thanks for everything. And I maintain that many of us would not be where we are now if we did not go through something. You learn to appreciate more when you had less. You know, uh, growing up, I didn't know what it was to have a deck. A deck. A deck. All I knew was a porch. Right. A porch. I didn't know about a basement. I knew about a cellar. We soon forget. My God. We had steps you had to wash. White steps you had to scrub. I 
didn't know anything about a dishwasher. I was a dishwasher. Lord Jesus. Am I talking to anybody? Air conditioning. I had a screen. Some of us are going out today for Mother's Day brunch. I didn't even know what brunch was. <laughs> Dinner, supper, My God. steak was a steak sandwich My God. from the corner store My God. for 25 cents. My God. Gratitude. Thanksgiving. Listen to the young people this morning. Smart enough to know the sacrifices made on behalf of them at an early age. And some of us are adults and still can't get it. Sometimes we can't even see how those trials and troubles help shape us to who we are today. Amen. By faith, we can give God thanks today for all of his blessings. Give thanks to everything. We complain too much. Do you realize that our mothers and fathers had little? And there may have been a few who were, you know, above that little, but not too many. And yet they took what they had and stretched it a long way. Their faith in God, they could praise God in spite of what they did not have. They understood the scriptures, give thanks in all circumstances. I can hardly remember a time in our home as bare it was that my mother or grandmother was complaining. They spent more time thanking God. The Lord will make a way somehow. Do I have a witness this morning? Do I have a witness? Do I have a witness? And now we are so sophisticated that church is too long. I, I remember when Mother's Day, the church was packed. <laughs> now we, let's go to brunch. Let's go to a jazz festival. My God. Give God thanks for everything. Everything. And Paul could say that because his life was not one of success. In prison, persecuted. But he never complained. I am what I am by the grace of God. Give thanks in all circumstances. This is the will of God. All things work together for good to them that love the Lord. It's no matter what happens, some things that are bad, God will use it for good. Do I have a witness? Yes. Do I have a witness? Yes. Some things that we call bad, God will turn around and make it good. some things I remember like it was yesterday. Uh, don't laugh. But this is the truth as sure as I'm standing here today that um, I never shall forget this. We were probably the last ones in the block to get a TV. Everybody else had TVs, and TVs then was like a piece of furniture. 
So it wasn't flat screen, you know. It, you bought a TV and you put it in the living room and that was a piece of furniture. And uh, programs like Ed Sullivan, right, you, you gotta be, you know, like. <laughs> and so we got this TV. Yes, sir. And my grandmother said, this is gonna be a day we're gonna rejoice. And this is what she did, Mark. She took a can of apple sauce and made apple pie. We didn't have enough money for apples. She made some crusts and made apple sauce. Took something out of nothing. And I was giving God thanks for the applesauce. It wasn't applesauce, it was apple pie. I remember it like it was yesterday. And that lesson taught me to give God thanks for everything. I've learned that God is faithful and that no matter what you're going through, he deserves the praise. Applesauce. Knee patches in my pants, carpet in my shoes. Do I have a witness this morning? Has God been good to anybody in here? Has God blessed anybody in here by blessing you with somebody else in your life? Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks for the applesauce. Give him thanks for the journey. Give him thanks. Do I have a witness? Do I have a witness? Is he all right? Can you praise God on this Mother's Day? Can you give him thanks for the sacrifices made on our behalf? To God be the glory. To God be the glory. People laugh when I tell them what my grandmother did. But I remember how grateful she was that she could even take applesauce. Oh, she, did, she took something out of nothing. And I give God praise today. That's only one sacrifice she made. But I look back over my life and see all the times she blessed me. And I wonder now what she's saying in glory. Maybe your story is not about applesauce. But take a moment and look where God brought you. You didn't make it this far by yourself. You're not self-made. Don't you dare think that you did it by yourself. How dare you? Somebody else prayed for you, somebody else worked for you, somebody else forgave you, somebody else loved you, somebody else encouraged you. You get up off your feet and give God praise for them right now, right now, with all your degrees, 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 with all your degrees. That paper on the wall wouldn't be nothing without your mama or your daddy or somebody in your life. How dare we become so smart that we have the audacity talking about I'm self-made. And don't you be embarrassed because they can't speak proper English. Never disown your mother or your daddy. When you invite your well-to-do friends, you invite your mama too. Do I have a witness? And don't have her sit in the kitchen, bring her at the table. Say, mama, this is your place. 
I wouldn't be here without you. Sit at the head of the table. And just in case you forget, no parent is perfect, but so what? You're not either. And the same way you look at mama and daddy, your children looking at you. So if you want respect, you got to give respect. I'm finished. Do you have it? Do you have it? All glory belongs to God. I don't have any regrets but Lord knows there's a song if I could hear my mother pray again oh how happy I would be you're blessed with a mother don't neglect to give her love I wish I could tell my mama yes. what the Lord has done for me. My God, my God, my God. Yes. Thank you. I wish I could have her come to our home. Yes. Come on, come on. I wish I could take her on our family vacation. Yes, sir. My God, my God, my God. I wish I could pray for her the way she prayed for me. I wish I could take her out to dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My God, my God, my God, my God. So if you have a chance, do it. In all things, give God thanks. In all things. In all things, give God thanks. We hope you've been inspired and encouraged by today's message. You're invited to visit us at Bethlehem Baptist, a warm multicultural church with two Sunday services, 9 o'clock and 11.15 a.m. We're located in Springhouse, Pennsylvania at Penland Pike and Dager Road, only 15 minutes from Philadelphia. We hope to see you soon. God bless you, and remember, love God, serve people.